Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Amber Robb. The Tri-States joined the nation today to stop and remember the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. KHQA's Raja Maples spoke with a local pastor and history professor about that legacy and how it looks today. He who does not know his or her history is doomed to repeat it. That's the message from both an Illinois pastor and history professor as we pause to remember and honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr and his dream for our nation. His legacy is now being spread across and almost compartmentalized, if you will. There are some folk who are leading in particular areas that helps the movement to move along, that helps to keep dream alive, that dream that we'll one day live in a nation where we won't be judged by the color of our skin, but rather the content of our character. First Baptist Church Pastor and Orville Jones says there will never be another Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., but that his legacy is alive and well right now. If Martin Luther King Jr. were alive today, mm -hmm. this very day. We don't have that much time. I think that uh, he would look at the tenor of our, of our society. He would look at the moment. He would, he would see what's really taking place, not just the things that are happening on the surface. What do you say today? I think right now he would be discouraged to see the division in the country because that's not what he wanted. That's not what he stood for. Martin Luther King stood for unity. He wanted all people of all races, all colors, all creeds to come together. That was his goal. Quincy University history professor Dr. Justin Coffey says Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. represented unity, something that's still needed in our country today. Right now, unfortunately, as Americans, we are as divided as we have been since the Civil War, really. But at the same point in time, he was a man of tremendous optimism. He would also be concerned that uh, there are still people who are hungry in this nation. He would be concerned that this pandemic has created a new class of poor people. But Pastor Jones also is a man of tremendous optimism. This country still can rise and become what we promised. Many MLK events took place virtually on this Monday, all in an effort to honor and remember where our country has been, where we are during this global pandemic, and what's next. In studio, Raja Maples reporting.